Hey guys, this is Vicki checking in today. As I promised in one of my other videos, I'm gonna show you how I make a multi-ribbon bow just out of different scraps of ribbon that I have. Um, you can use as much ribbon as you want or as little ribbon as you want. Uh, today, I'm going to use one, two, three, four, five, six different kinds of ribbon, plus also a string or another piece of ribbon. This is actually a, a red and white twine that I'm gonna tie all the ribbon together. So basically, I cut all the ribbon the same size. I did not measure it. If you wanted to measure it, you could. I just kind of uh, looked at it to see what I wanted. I thought on my sign that I'm gonna put it on and cut them all the same. So let me sort these out really quick. Again, I go from the largest ribbon down to the smallest ribbon. So I take this string that I'm gonna secure everything together and lay it on my cutting board. I then take my ribbon and hopefully you can see it. This, this ribbon is kind of flimsy, but it'll still work. I'm gonna make an, an X. So hopefully you can see, I put that X, actually let me turn this one over because it's kind of curled up. I'm going to make an X on top of the ribbon. Let's see if you can kind of see that. I don't know if you can see it a little bit better that way or not. Um, I then go with my next color ribbon, which is approximately the same size. Again, doesn't have to be uniform, but just whatever you think works. I've then got some uh, red and white gingham that I'm going to lay over. I then have some white, which is basically the same size of the red and white gingham. As you can tell, I like buffalo check and gingham, and I like red and black. That's what I'm using for Valentine's Day. Um, then I have some thinner, actually it's, it's kind of stuck together, some thinner black and white ribbon, little bitty strings of red ribbon. So I have it all in an X shape. Then I take my twine that I had and I'm going to tie a knot, a single knot. And I'm gonna be very careful about how I secure this so the ribbon doesn't kind of get bunched up. Just kind of take it kind of slow, kind of hold it down with my hands. Some of this ribbon decides it wants to maybe pick up. I'm gonna to have to change that anyway. So anyways, so then I kind of fold it out so the ribbon, you can see it a little bit better. And then I'm gonna turn it over and do a double knot on the other side to secure it. There's one knot and there's two knots. And then okay, my fingers do not want to make a knot today. All right, there we go. And then I'm gonna cut off this excess twine that I have. Again, you can use another piece of ribbon, um, whatever you want. So I'm gonna kind of fluff it out, and there is my little bow. Hope you can see. Now I'm using this on a Valentine project, so of course I'm gonna add another enhancement to it. I've got these little sparkly hearts that I got from the Dollar Tree, of course. A little bit of hot glue on the back of it. And I am then going to, which way do I wanna put this? Yeah, I'll put it this way. I'm then going to put my little heart down in the middle of my bow. Just a little bit more embellishment goes a long ways. Add a little sparkle to it. Add that buffalo check, that great buffalo check for farmhouse decor. And there I have my bow. So everybody stay safe, stay healthy. 